All right. Uh, before we go into that discussion, let me welcome my second guest, Mr. Kolaoli Jensen. Thank you very much for joining us today on the program. Thank you, Jim. Good to All be right, here. gentlemen, an 80-page um, action plan key sectors. How would you describe this as capable of putting Nigeria to, on the path to greatness? Thank you. There's no doubt about it. Um, the APC members and the leadership had waited and waited um, for Friday to come. There were uh, disagreements about the list of the presidential council committee members, but in the end, the list was beefed up mm -hmm. from 422 uh, persons to more than 600. And that appeared to have um, placated a number of people who felt left behind by the original list. Now, the party and its uh, presidential standard bearer can get down to brass tacks and uh, begin the real work of um, selling the party to Nigerians. Ashwaju um, has been around for quite some time. He's been governor, he's been senator. He's never lived anywhere else consistently except Nigeria since he <clears throat> returned to the country um, on the cusp of the 1999 general election. So he's very much familiar with the problems that need um, attending to the big problems facing our country, beginning with the biggest of them all, which is the insecurity. And he, he has carefully put together um, a manifesto that in his wisdom will help us address those problems and uh, most probably banish some of the problems. So uh, the president who had been accused of um, being lukewarm towards the idea of um, supporting Ashwaju um, Tinubu. Dalia came out to say, look, I am going to support our candidates, beginning with the presidential candidates. And he retreated that fact um, last week by, say, by saying that he will lead the campaign. And I think that is instructive. Um, that's a way of telling the naysayers that, look, he wants to ensure that his party produces uh, his successor. So the president promised to lead the campaign. And he also spoke eloquently about the qualities um, that Ashwa Jibola Metinubu has, including his visionary nature, um, his capacity to solve problems, and his um, ability to spot talents that can help him to deliver the goods. I've said before that a leader does not necessarily have to be the best that a country has, but a good leader will put together a very good team, a team of people that will best complement themselves, you know, and ensure that um, the job of nation building is done and done in a diligent uh, manner. All right, Kolaoli, many analysts have described this as the same promises President Buhari made in 2015, but just different candidates this time around. Do you agree with that? Have you gone through the document? Yes, I have. Um, I mean, uh, can you remember uh, uh, what you have in 2015 and you can see the difference? However, uh, in fact, I scribbled some things there, but uh, I left my glasses, so uh, let me just, uh, you know, I remember my days uh, in, a, uh, in the policy analysis classes, and uh, <clears throat> the one thing stood out. You would always have the fact that uh, it's agreed upon that political parties are major agents of changing policy direction of a country. The reason uh, being that when, uh, when election time like this comes, uh, you have different parties presenting their manifestos 
their policy directions, what they want to do in government, and some can even take a step further by, uh, you know, putting in place the work plan, you know, to achieve such, you know, such, uh, 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 such programs and promises. And at the end of the day, the populists are left to choose. I've seen what Mr. A is presenting. I've seen what part, um, uh, you know, I've seen what Part B is presenting. C D, you know, and um. I think I prefer A, I prefer B or C. So when you bring them to power, whoever wins, so what they have in their template to do in government will form the new policy direction for the country, thereby changing you know, what had been before. So in in, in, in electionary time like this, you know, when you see, when, you, when I keep listening to some vague speeches, some argument about things that don't matter, it's, it, it pains because those are not the issues. The issues are what touches you and I. And if you look at that policy document, joke, I mean, the sentiment apart, we can have our own misgivings or our own sentiment, you know, for or against. But you will see, uh, you know, some test of, of, of that, that document passed the test of NEAT assessment. Thoroughly, you know, I think they were able to look, uh, you know, at the country, you know, do proper situation analysis, proper NEAT assessment, and come up with what are the things that need to be done. And some policies were put in place, you know, to, to address those things. So look at the issue of decentralization, you know, more power to the state. I'm looking at some things that I'd, if, if given the chance to implement, I think the country may be witnessing, you know, in quotes, a, a tactical restructuring without the normal call for restructuring. And I think the country will be good you know, would be good for it. I don't think it is the same thing with what you have in 2015. One, there's a need to own what you have, you know. I don't think the president now, you know, sitting, I don't think he owned that document in, in, in 2015. And, you know, you know that the direction of CPC then and, um, and then um, AC, is it ACN? Of, of course. The, uh, 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 the parties came together but with some difference in ideologies. So for me, I think the ACN uh, block represented fully the progressive part, you know. And uh, what you see in that document, you will see clearly, you know, some progressive ideals that uh, I, th I think, I think will be able to drive the nation forward. One, if, if they are implemented, of course, you can have some changes uh, along the line. You can have a document that is rigid you know, all mm -hmm. along. As you, as you go ahead with your implementation, you will see areas that will need adjustment based on prevailing circumstances. But what you have there is capable of turning the nation around. Number one, if you have the team to implement and trust the man with the ability to bring, you know, to the table the best of brains. And don't forget that the job of a leader is not just to raise perpetual followers, but to raise leaders alongside. I think I right. listened to one of his... Um, interviews where he said you can succeed in building bridges infrastructures but beyond that if you not succeed in raising men that will take after you and i think he has done that effectively and one thing that you can say that will bring you know that will bring any policy to fruition is by having the men you know the noble men that will build the institution alongside with implementation of that policy so that you know, it can go beyond that particular time. So for me, I don't think it is exactly the same okay. for two factors. One, there are, you know, the, 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 the ideals there are more progressive in nature, and the, I think uh, he leans more towards that direction. Then two, he will be able to assemble the best of men to implement, if Nigeria will give him the chance anyway. All right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, the cancerous effect of corruption on every aspect